The next step is increasing the initial deposit that the developer would give us from 2% of cost to 5%. It just gives us more holding power with regards to their monies if something changes or when we have outside work done that uh, they would be paying for it up front and we wouldn't have to try and bill it and get the money back after the fact. The next step, number four, is the requirement of a three-year bond on what they're putting in versus a two-year that they currently have. Uh, gives us an extra year for uh, road cracks, curb cracks, uh, sewer defects, water line defects, etc. Number five, we require the developer to install all stop signs, street signs, pavement mark markings, and traffic control devices in these areas. Uh, currently, that's not the case. The city pays for those. And then the last one is just changing the title from service director to safety service director to clean up the ordinance. Those are the six items that were changed in this that we uh, would like to have passed by council at their next meeting.